Hey guys, what's going on? It's DJ TLM. You're watching DJ TLM TV. And today's Q&A is about the following question. How long should you play a song when you're mixing at a party in a club? As you can imagine, there's not one definitive answer for this because there's a lot of different circumstances, scenarios, and I'll take you through a couple of scenarios right now. And I'm looking at this from my perspective, and that's a hip hop and R&B DJ's perspective. And it's a little bit different for dance music, but then again, stick around because you can use this info as well. Now, I'm a hip hop R&B DJ and I play a lot of old school stuff as well, like soul funk, new jack swing, but also like the, the new hip hop R&B. And hip hop and R&B music has the similar structure where you have the beginning where there's a beat or a hook, then you get a verse where you have the vocals, then you get a hook, then you get a verse, then you get a hook, and sometimes another verse. If I'm starting the evening, because timing is important as well, because the night is divided into different parts. You can be the warm-up DJ, you could be the headliner, doing the, the best, the main part of the evening where the party has to get like really hype, or you might close the night. If I'm warming up, so I'm playing early, then my job is to set the mood. Get people into that right vibe, get them ready to party. So if I'm warming up, I'll play songs, two verses, two hooks. This is not a rule, but this is what I usually do. So the song starts, you get a verse, you get a hook, you get another verse with vocals, and when the next hook comes in, that's where I'll do my mix transition. That works because people get to hear enough of the song and I won't play longer than that because if people want to hear the entire song, that's what they do when they're in the car or at home or when they listen to songs on their phone. That They can do that themselves, so I won't play entire song. So two verses, two hooks, perfect. It gives me time to chill, get the right songs and give people the feeling that we're not rushing it yet. If I'm headlining and it's my job to make people go crazy all out, I'm going at a faster tempo. And I'm not talking faster tempo music, that might be the case, but I'm talking faster transitions. A lot of times if I'm playing the high part of the evening, I'll do one verse, one hook. So song starts, then you get the verse with the vocals, and when that hook comes in, I'll do my mix right there. Or after that hook, I'll just switch it on the one. So if I'm ending the evening, I don't do that a lot, only if I'm playing all night. But when it's time to go past that hype, you wanna break it back down a bit. And that's where you can play songs a little bit longer again or if I'm still keeping it at that higher tempo, faster transitions, I'll just make sure that the songs have that more mellow vibe. But a lot of times we wanna give people the feeling like, all right, it's time to slow it down, end the evening. I'll start playing songs a bit longer again. Now, like I said, I'm taking this from a, a hip hop and R&B perspective because that's what I play a lot. And that's when you're talking in verses and hooks. If you're playing dance music, that's gonna be a little bit different because it's more about the, uh, the breaks and the, 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 the hype part. There's a lot of ups and downs with dance music and people have different ways of reacting to that because the song will start, then you'll have that break, and after that break, bang, the beat comes in and everyone gets hyped, then you get another break, and then it comes back in and that's what they react to. In the past, when I saw people play house music, dance music, a lot of times they would play songs for a longer period. And their transitions would be longer as well too. So they would blend songs and have them play together for a long time, mess around with the EQ for a long time. And I have noticed that for the last years, in the dance scene, DJs have started to um, increase the tempo as well. So they're starting to switch songs faster, like we've been doing in hip hop and R&B for a long time. So 
I can't speak about how you do that in dance music, but I should imagine that it's the same thing. If you're warming up, you don't want to go too fast with the transition. If you let songs play long, you might do longer blends. When you're at that hyper hype part of the evening, you're going to speed that up and you're going to play more songs. Have the crowd on their, on their feet the whole time. Because if you're playing the hype part, you don't want to play songs too long because you want to keep that energy real high. And when people hear the same song for a longer period of time, it's not possible to keep them at that level unless it's like the hit of the moment. If I'm playing a song that's been a hit for the last couple of weeks, everybody's listening to the song at home, on the radio, you know they want to hear that song. They've been wanting to hear that song before they got in the club. And once they got in and got their first drink, they were thinking about that song already. So you know you have a couple of songs like that. You want to leave those on longer. And one of the most important things is check your crowd. Watch their reaction to songs. So if you're warming up and your warm up is getting to a nice nice level so you already gone past the first part of warming them up and you're getting more hype getting them ready for the main part of the evening and you play a song and you can tell that the reaction is not what you expected that they're not really feeling the song don't leave it on for the two verses Just switch it faster because you want to have people in a certain vibe and if you play a song and you can tell that the song is not having the right effect switch it same thing goes for if the song is having a great effect and people are really going crazy. Don't switch it too fast. So those are guidelines. They're not rules. It's what I do. See what works for you, but make sure you check what part of the evening you're playing so you know your role and check your crowd. Check your crowd. Most important thing. One last thing is you have certain types of events where the DJ has a different role and it's not a club environment. Let's say it's a certain type of event where they want music, but music is not the main thing. Of course, it's going to be different. But in that case, you're more of a background addition to the whole event. Then you don't need to go all out. You can just play songs, leave them on for two verses at least, and not go crazy. But we're talking club situation now. Warm up, two verses, two hooks. Hype part, one verse, one hook. Check your crowd. If they go crazy, you might leave it longer. If they're not feeling it, take it out as fast as possible. I hope that answers your question, not just for hip hop R&B DJs, but for dance DJs as well. And if you have any more questions, leave a comment in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you because the new comment section is kind of shady since YouTube has added the whole Google Plus thing. I'm working on the best way to see how I can still interact with you because a lot of times I don't have a reply button right now. So if you have a direct question, please send me an email djtlmtv at djtlm.com or check me on Twitter at DJTLMTV. So try and join the conversation in the comments section and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this info, click like and we'll see each other again real soon. Peace out.